until recently, I was a purist. I didn't believe in multi-brand diagnostics. And then, this little thing came into my life and things have never been the same. Say welcome to the Xtool D7 and say welcome to affordable multi-brand diagnostics for everyone. We will have some questions that we need to answer regarding this diagnostic tool. And I hope that the list that is in front of me is more than sufficient. What is it? It is an Android tablet that is running its specific software which allows you to diagnose any passenger vehicle that is under the sun. I didn't find a brand that wasn't in their database. Uh, in the description before buying this one, you will see all sorts of fancy words, bi-directional control, immobilizer program, key programming, special servicing functions. Overall, this is a very capable diagnostic tool that I would say fits 90% of any need that you might have when it comes to, to working on a vehicle. Why did I buy it? Why did I buy it especially if I already had the manufacturer specific diagnostic tool? I bought it because this type of tool and especially this tool has the capability of doing data logging. Data logging is something that ISTA, as an example, is not capable of doing and the softwares or tools that are able to, to do such a thing are quite expensive. Surprise, surprise, this tool is more capable, is, has many more capabilities than just the diagnostic bit. The majority of you will be buying it for the diagnostic bit and to my surprise, after playing around with it, this is something that I'm also using it for. It is faster, it is more rugged than using my normal computer and the ISTA software. It is kind of giving you all that you need in a very accessible and very intuitive system. Of course, it will have its limitations in the sense that you're not getting any of the background information that you will be getting in a manufacturer specific diagnostic tool. Here, it's kind of required for you to have a basic understanding of each vehicle for you to know which function to use and when. But overall, the fact that this type of tool gives you the freedom of going from one brand to another in a couple of seconds and overall, now th this is something as at the price range, uh, these Xtool D7s have been at a certain point the top of their uh, product range. Now uh, Xtool is developing new tools and are discounting these ones. The discount was so good that I, I couldn't not buy it. Price and capability, you cannot uh, compare it with many of the other tools. You don't need to worry about charging the battery. It charges by itself. The cabling and the other stuff are quite rugged and they are on part with many of the OEM tools that I worked with. It also has the capability of allowing you to do all sorts of programming of the keys on certain models. Don't have high hopes. If you want to do some dodgy stuff on the instrument clusters for some vehicles, you're able to do it. Of course, if you're doing basic uh, brake pad change, the electronic parking brake is a thing that you want to visit. Service resets, it's capable of communicating with uh, hybrid vehicle batteries, normal battery, learning and resetting. The capabilities are, I wouldn't say endless, they have an end, but you have everything that you want, no matter what vehicle you would buy. What are the cars that I actually used it on and how was my experience with them? I've used it on the BMW F10 and I used it on an X1, very similar to Ista. I've played around with it on a Mercedes. Uh, I was aiming to regenerate a diesel particulate filter. That was a moment when the software had a little bit of a glitch in the sense that I was saying yes to start the regeneration process and kind of nothing was happening. When I clicked on no, all of a sudden the regeneration process uh, engaged and started to, um, to work. There might be some small glitches 
in the way that some of the functions have been translated, but providing you have the time to pay attention to what you're doing, you should be okay with that. Other cars that I've played around with, an Opel Insignia 2019, if I remember correctly, so a newer vehicle, all the systems could be scanned, DTC resets, they have been resetted without any issue. Also, I played around on an older Mazda and the tool was capable of doing that without any issue. What I like and what maybe I don't like, I like its form factor. I like the fact that it's rugged, its speed. It's able to scan the things uh, very, very consistently and very, very fast. Carrying box, I don't care about it. You will not care about it. It's software. It's quite intuitive and it is, it is allowing you to output a report which you can use either to keep like a historical view of what happened on your vehicle or you can forward it to a friend or to a customer showing what are the issues that could or should be addressed on that specific vehicle. The things that I did not really enjoy, there are not that many. I didn't enjoy uh, the fact that some of the translations for many of the functions or uses of, uh, of this diagnostic tools you will have a description that kind of gives you the guideline of what you should do or you shouldn't do. Those descriptions are sometimes hard to read in the sense that they have been translated from a different language, but they sound a little bit strange from a technical point of view. If you know what you're doing, you kind of are able to understand what is the requirement from those ones. or you might just ignore them and click OK and just go ahead. Pricing and where to buy it. This is, at least when I bought it, was the big selling point for this tool. The price was very, very attractive. This has been bought with my own money, hasn't been sent just as a review and I'm having a good opinion about it based on the fact that it was a freebie. No, I paid for it and I'm quite happy with the money that I paid for it and I would buy it again no matter what. Seeing the quality or having experienced this tool, which in my opinion is the entry level for anyone that is serious about working on a vehicle, seeing this makes me curious to test the more advanced tools that these guys are having on offer. So uh, shop around, I think that I bought mine on eBay. Links will be in the description for the possible buying places. You have eBay, Amazon and AliExpress. Shop around, see specific to your market and your location which of these places makes more sense for you. Would I buy it again? The final question that I would like to answer is would I buy it again? Of course, I would buy it and I consider it as being the best present that you can make to yourself or if you have friends that are into cars, this is the best present that you can make to those type of uh, friends. They will appreciate it. And th this will be a tool that they will be using over and over again. Also, this type of tool can help you if you want to buy a new vehicle, uh, if you want to buy an old vehicle, something that will be new for you. It will help you in ensuring that the vehicle that you are buying doesn't have too many hidden faults. Now. I hope that the overall video gave you a good idea of what this is capable of doing. I will follow up with the specific use of this on some of the vehicles that I had the opportunity of working on. The overall idea, it's a capable unit and it's a unit that will improve your life should you decide to get one. That was all for this video. Should you want to work with me on different projects, Get in touch using the social media or our website or any other links that we have. I hope that you learned something, you have new ideas for toys to get. And this being said, we need to stop this video over here.